Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I'm in the car at the moment um, and I thought I would just do a quick intro to this, the first of my weekly vlogs. Um, I'm just going to be picking up the camera every single day and just filming what we're we're doing um, so I can get into the um, a good habit of filming every day ready for vlogmas which will be very soon. Um, so today is Monday and we're just um, in the um, next town to where we live and me and Olivia are um, I'm just going to go browse Dunelm um, but actually what we're here for we're going to go to Wix because I need to well I want to buy some rubber sealant to go around the windows in our bedroom because there's really bad drafts um, and with Olivia sleeping in there as well it's um you know you can get quite cold um, so I'm just trying to insulate the windows a bit better so that the, the room's not um, as cold and it takes less heating to heat it up so we're all a bit warmer and we're not using we're not having to blast the heating um as high every evening just to to warm the house up um so that she's um able to sleep um so yeah i'm just gonna go have a have a, have a browse um and um um, at the minute she's fast asleep oh you won't be able to see she's fast asleep in the back of the car she's teething starting to teethe and it's making her quite grumpy so i've just been sitting in the car for about 20 minutes just seeing letting her have a little sleep um because she's not sleeping as well and she's um yeah she's just really really grumpy with her teeth at the moment so that's um that's what we're doing at the moment uh, we've been to the library this morning just very quickly just to drop off the books that we borrowed um and yeah this is our, our monday um later on today we're going to do our weekly food shop so i'll, I'll show you that as well um but yeah i'm gonna go i'm gonna put the baby carrier on so she's on on me and um have a browse around the shops So we've just been to the shop to do our food shopping. Olivia is asleep in her uh, car seat still, so we're just gonna unload all the all the shopping.
Okay, so I'm going to go have a shower because my hair's awful. But for tonight, we've got the Tesco finest meal deal. So um, we got the El the bottle green elderflower presse and crisp apple presse as the drink. We got the beef and ale oh, meatballs. The Dauphinois potatoes and then a tart to citron for pudding. So I'm going to go for a shower while this is all cooking. Then I should be nice and clean, ready for dinner. Good morning, baby number one. Good morning, baby number two. Hello. <laughs> yes, coffee. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. I didn't pick the camera up yesterday because I was not feeling very well. In fact, I actually had to call my mum at half past six in the morning to see if they could come over because they live about an hour and a half away um, to help me look after the dog and Olivia yesterday because I was feeling so unwell, which they did, very thankful. They're both retired, so like, they didn't have any, they didn't have like a work or anything to go to and they had no plans, so that was really helpful. And having them over for, just so I can take a nap and have something to eat, properly without being disturbed a million times has sorted me right out so I'm feeling much better today um I've got my coffee and I need to get some breakfast um and you saw me putting the washing machine on but I haven't actually turned it on yet because and I think I've said this in previous videos our energy company actually gives us free electricity when there's um, a surplus of green energy available. So we have free energy, uh, well, electricity usage between 2 and 4 p.m. today, so I'm gonna wait till then to put the washing machine on because I don't have to pay for the electricity to heat the water, which is the most uh, energy intense bit, then um, I'm, I'm not going to. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, Olivia, I think, might be developing her first cold. She's a bit um, snotty this morning. She didn't sleep very well because of her snottiness. Um, but she's in a very cheeky mood. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have breakfast now. And um, I'm not sure what we're doing today, but I'll uh, pick you up when we, when we decide. Um, one thing that she started to, because she sees us drinking out of mugs, when she sees us drinking out of them, she sort of gets frustrated that we're drinking out of cups and she's not. So I've just given her, a, a give we give her like this little plastic measuring cup 
so she feels like she can be involved with drinking from cups. Um, but it won't be long before we start properly weaning her because she's showing all the signs. Um, but yeah, she likes to be involved with the drinking from cups now, don't you? That's your cup. Mm. Livy, look. Wow! A giant pumpkin. <laughs> so, I'm filming this on a Thursday and Halloween was actually on Monday, but, you know, who cares really? I'm gonna carve my pumpkin today, four days late. And I'm gonna put Olivia in it. <laughs> we got this um, ginormous monster pumpkin from Lidl for £2.89 and it was one of those ones where it was so comically large, we were like, we've got to get that. So yeah, I'm gonna carve this up now. Olivia's in her high chair, playing with some chew toys. She's teething a bit now, so bless her. She's getting a bit um, agitated about it. But yeah, I'm gonna carve this monster pumpkin. Let's go. Later on, I finished carving the pumpkin, it's just um, in the conservatory just there. Just letting it sort of dry out a little bit before we do um, some photos. Um, Olivia has been for a nap, I have also been for a nap. But as well as um, carving out the pumpkins, we also have saved some of the pumpkin seeds so we can grow our own monster pumpkin next year, hey? Yeah. So I've saved just a few seeds, um, we wouldn't need this many pumpkins, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to growing some seeds with Olivia and yeah, just teaching her where, um, where food comes from and yeah, fun to be able to carve our own pumpkins, hopefully, so yeah. Um, anyway, she needs to be fed um, and um, yeah, then we're gonna um, wait for Scott to get home. Then we're gonna do a big clear up operation of the house. Oh, and um, start dinner. It's chicken Caesar salad tonight, and um, we've got two rolls of puff pastry in the fridge that we need to use up. So I'm gonna try and attempt to make some cinnamon rolls as well, um, because. I watched Bake Off um, this morning when she was having her morning nap and um, they were doing spiced buns and they were doing lots of things that made me think of cinnamon rolls so I'm going to try and do cinnamon rolls um, if, if possible.
Hello, so happy Saturday. Last day um, this week that I'm going to be vlogging for this vlog. Um, it's currently half past two in the afternoon and it is a miserable day. It's been raining all day. The dog has been sick this morning, so <laughs> we've been dealing with that. But I've had a shower, so I'm just keeping my hair wrapped up to dry out a bit. Um, and I've done, well, me and Scott, we've done the sort of basics of cleaning. So we, I, well, I've done all the, the done the washing up, wiped down the sides, the, well, the surfaces, um, and cleaned the sink, I cleaned the bath out and shower out while I was having a shower. And Scott's whipped the hoover around downstairs. Um, but yeah, the dog's been sick and it's tipping it down. I think it's still, it's not raining now, but it's really wet outside. Um, Olivia's got a bit of a cold and is teething. So all in all, a day for just being inside. Um, and while Scott's got Olivia and the dog's moping about, um, I've sort of tucked myself away from um, them. I'm gonna have some lunch make Scott some lunch so he eats something while he's looking after Olivia. I'm going to get on with some deep cleaning jobs um, and yeah, do other cleaning things and just take you along and that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of today. Um, and then I'll be uploading this on uh, Sunday. So I hope you have a happy Sunday if you're watching this. And yeah i'm basically re resetting myself today and the house because next week second week in november and you know we're going to start christmas planning um and christmas planning is a very serious time of year and yeah resetting monthly budgets um i'm going to be talking about, all about that next week christmas budget um, what we're doing to save money, um, what we're going to be doing to, um, yeah, like decorating the house and um, what we're getting Olivia and, oh, I'm just so excited. It's like, I can't, can't believe it's like it be Christmas already. Really excited to do Vlogmas. Um, but anyways, I better put some lunch on and do some, do some deep cleaning. I mean... I don't know if this comes across in these weekly vlogs, but I don't actually do much cleaning during the week or tidying. Um, and that's generally because the house doesn't really get that messy um, or dirty. Um, and obviously it builds up over a week. That's why I you know, do, do cleaning. But um, when you just don't have as much stuff, you do live a more simple, simplified and minimal lifestyle. Cleaning just really doesn't take over your life as much as, you know, if you had to tidy clutter and everything got dirty, like dirty all the time. Because we have less stuff, you know, we, we clean as we kind of go along. So like our kitchen counters always stay quite clean because we can wipe them all down every night after we've made dinner. Um, so like the house always stays very clean and tidy, but like it's a very unconscious effort. You know, I do, I'm doing like big cleaning jobs today because I don't really have much else to do. Um, but yeah, like being more minimal, being having a more simplified life, it really puts things like cleaning and tidying, you know, like they just become very unconscious habits that are very easy to do, very easy to maintain. Um, and yeah, really just fade into the background so you can concentrate on, well, I can concentrate on looking after Olivia in the week and not have to th be stressed about the state of the house that much. Um, and yeah, she, that's why she gets all of my attention because you know, my attention's not being, I'm not being distracted by, by other things. Um, and then when I do have an afternoon to my, to myself, 
um, where I'm not, you know, Scott's you know, spending time with his daughter and their bonding, which is really important because he doesn't get to do that much in the week with working. It means I can do all these like cleaning jobs and they just, I, I for one find, just find them very satisfying. You know, like for example, this cupboard. Huh? Oh, <laughs> he's done it. Well, that's very disappointing. This cupboard had crumbs from the, from the, um, <laughs> this, so the toaster's here and there was crumbs all over. One of my jobs was to be like, oh, it's going to be really sa satisfying before and after. You can clear all the crumbs away and then put the, put the toaster back. Oh, well, Scott's done that for me already. And there were crumbs all down here and he's done that as well. Oh, okay. Well, that's one of my big jobs for today. A <laughs> big job of clearing this little bit here. Um, ah. Oh. That was literally like one of the big things I was going to do. Oh. <laughs> well, it's nice to have a partner who does, uh, cleans, can see when there's a mess and cleans it. Um, anyway, but I still, I'll, still, I'll still find lots of things to do and just bring you along, I think. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Oh, well, well, toast is all clean. But I still need to make lunch, so let's let's um, let's have some lunch. Right, well, I'm putting the lunch on, but Scotch just asked for. Um, oh, very dark. Yeah, this light on. Oh God, very bright. Hopefully the camera. Uh, it's so dark today, you see. So got the lights on, and then um, it's um, more funny on the camera. Anyways. Scott's asked for a beer um, and it was his birthday the other week, um, he was 30, so me, um, his sister and his mum clubbed together to get him a new gadget, which I can show you now because it's really cool, um, and um, oh, dishwasher's done, uh, and um, me and him love it, um, and it's very bougie, but, so it is a pull at home <laughs> beer keg dispenser it's very fancy uh it's a phillips oh can you see that hello you can see me Ooh. um if i do the here we go phillips oh perfect draft um and yeah we've got the brew dog um punk ipa in there at the minute I'm going to pour him, he's asked for a beer to have with his lunch and watch the football. Um, so I'm going to pour a pour pint for him now and show you. Also, it came with these really nice um, brew dog pint glasses as well. So you've got, you got the machine, a keg and two glasses. Um, so I'll link the Perfect Draft website. But, uh, and you can all judge me for my pint pouring skills. So there we go, there, there's my pint, oh that looks very refreshing, I suppose I have left a little bit at the top but he won't notice that, um, and yeah we really we really like it, I mean it is a little bit loud as you heard um, just then, but um, yeah it cools it down to 3 degrees, tells you once your keg is open you have 30 days to drink it. Um, so it tells you how many days you've got left and then this indicates how much you have left in your keg. So we have about um, a pint left. Um, so yeah, it's our new, our new kitchen gadget. I mean, we've had to have a little swap around. Um, so we've got the coffee kettle, coffee machine and beer keg here. And then we've moved the soda stream here next to the microwave. A um, bit of birthday cake from my mother-in-law there, which I'm going to polish off. Um, 
so yeah, so yeah, the Soda Stream's now here, but that's actually better because I access this like every single day, whereas I suppose the coffee machine gets accessed every single day. But yeah, our new uh, new gadget. Very, very, very pleased with it. So yeah. Okay, so I've dried my hair now. First list on the list of jobs to do is to put this dry washing away and hang up the uh, load that was on earlier. And then I'm going to be putting this thick foam draft excluded tape thing around the windows in this bedroom because they are very drafty um, because one of them is um, slightly broken. I'm hoping that this draft excluded tape will um, will will sort out the draft. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's feeling a bit better now. Aren't you? You've had some chicken, haven't you? Yeah. Come on then, let's put these clothes away. Okay, so I've hung all the washing up. These just need like, it's just the um, little like end bits that need drying. So actually that's almost already dry being on the radiator. So these clothes won't be on these radiators for very long. Um, but it is absolutely chucking it down. The camera probably won't pick up the sound, but it's like really loud rain. So I'm going to put this draft excluder foam on this window, see if that helps with the draft, keeping the heat in, saving on our energy bills, everything like that. It was seven pounds from Wix and it's three and a half meters. Um, so let's see how, how easy it is to, uh, to put on. very easy to do um, it doesn't look very neat because essentially this window is broken and needs to be fixed or replaced um, but that's a job for another year <laughs> so this is a temporary solution but I'll show you how it's come out um, yeah very easy um, and seems to be doing the job very well so if you have any gaps in your window that you need to seal this uh, is very cheap and very easy to do, so I definitely would recommend. So as you can see, the gap's nice and sealed. Um, all the way round. Let's say it doesn't look very pretty, but the important thing is that it does the job at the moment before um, this gets replaced, so. All this heat from this radiator should not be escaping straight out the window now, so that's great. Hello everybody, so it's uh, the end of Saturday, I've got my dinner here, pulled pork burgers. Um, I have um, Olivia and Ruben staring at my food now. But I just wanted to say thanks for watching, if you got this far, um, on a little week in my life um, vlog. Um, I've got some Christmas content coming up for you soon as well as uh, Vlogmas. So um, if you like this video, please click the like button and if you want to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500 f uh, subscribers by the end of the year. Um, so that would be great. And yeah, we're just, um, just going to chill, watch something on Disney Plus and... Um, yeah, just have a chill rest of the evening. I hope you all have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!